Good morning, Coyotes. I'm your host, Torn Rikers, and welcome to this year's Thanksgiving episode. Now, you're definitely in for a treat because we filled this episode full of holiday themed segments. Without further ado, roll the intro! Bop, bop. Good morning, cast. Hey, Thanksgiving is coming up, so wake up for an adventure with today's host, Torn Rikers, and our amazing reporters, Xander Grable. Easy Calibrin Chibo and Henry Swindell. Let me remind you again, this is Good Morning Castaic. Bye 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 bye! As we all know, one of America's most favorite holidays, Thanksgiving, is coming up. I know that I'll be getting my fair share of holiday treats, however, the food isn't the main reason why we celebrate Thanksgiving. Today, GMC's Izzy Calibrin Chibo interviews a few students and staff to see what they're thankful for. Good morning, Coyotes, and Happy Thanksgiving! As we all know, the day of food and giving thanks is just around the corner. So for the occasion, I interviewed some Cass Day High School students and staff to see what they're thankful for this year. Honestly, just to have family that's like here with me and friends because I lost someone last year very important to me a few days before Thanksgiving. So I'm honestly just happy to have all my family and I'm thankful for them. I'm thankful for my friends, my family, and birds. I'm thankful for my friends and my family because they're always there for me and they just make my life a lot better. You know, I'm thankful for a lot of things, but I'm really thankful for the people who are working in grocery stores, being able to stock food. And honestly, I'm thankful for everybody who's keeping us safe. And I'm also thankful for my family who's been putting up with me for the last couple months. I am thankful for some boring mom things. I'm thankful that my family is really healthy at a time when other people's family members are not healthy. And I'm thankful that I have a job that I like and a steady income for both myself and my spouse. And um, that we have things a lot easier than a lot of people do right now. I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving, Coyotes. My name is Izzy Caliber Tribble, reporting for Good Morning Castaic. Thanks, Izzy. I think sometimes we forget about the good things in our life, so that was a healthy reminder. Moving on, some of you may or may not know, but November is Native American Heritage Month. Today, Henry Sundell tells us a little bit more about it. November marks National Native American Heritage Month. It's a designated time to acknowledge and celebrate the diverse cultures, histories, traditions, and contributions of Native Americans. The month of November was first designated to honor Native Americans in 1990 by President George Bush. Oh wait, President George H.W. Bush. This month is a great time to learn about indigenous cultures and raise awareness about the unique challenges Native Americans face now and throughout history. One organization, Native Hope, aims to tell stories of Native Americans. Their website is designed to explore the past, present, and future of North America's indigenous peoples. It offers an in-depth look at a Native American life, past and present. I highly recommend it. Another great resource is UCLA's Mapping Indigenous LA Project. The website has story maps with hyperlinks about the history of the indigenous people of LA with pictures and videos. These are two great resources to commemorate National Native American Heritage Month. This has been Henry Sundell reporting for Good Morning Castaic. Thanks, Henry. It's always super cool learning about people's history. Now, before we continue, here at GMC, we asked you guys to take a survey on which Thanksgiving foods were your favorite. In the end, most of you guys voted mashed potatoes, followed by pumpkin pie, and turkey coming in third place. Now let's take a quick break and move on to this week's Thanksgiving trivia. Even though I don't usually get the answers correct on our trivia segments, they're still pretty fun. Anyways, here at GMC, we're always looking for new ways to interact with you guys. Today, GMC's Chase Oliveira interviews Miranda Stowe to see how the quarantine has affected her drawing. 
Hey everyone, today I'm going to be interviewing one person who is making the best out of their free time. Let's get right into it. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? Good. So I understand that you're an artist. What kind of things do you usually draw? Um, I draw a variety of things, mainly characters that I create. Um, I plan on publishing a comic actually later down the road. Wow, can you tell me anything about it? It's still a heavy work in progress, so I'll have to keep the details secret right now. <laughs> cool. So has the quarantine inspired you with any creative ideas? Um, mainly it's just made me draw a few darker topics. Nothing really new, though. I've been drawing all day during the summer, and I've been drawing frequently still, even though school's going on. I've had a lot more time to practice and study what I want to draw. Wow, that's really cool. Can you show us some of your work? Yeah, here's a drawing I did recently. Ooh, looks good. Yep. Can you tell us about it? I'm interested in a species called Wendigo. I kind of edited the species a little, so they're pretty creepy still. All right, well, that's about all the time we have. Thank you for doing the interview. And I hope all you coyotes stay creative and have a good time and use your time well. I'm Chase Oliveira reporting for Good Morning Castaic. Bye. <laughs> wow, those drawings were pretty cool. Now, I've always wanted to try and get better at drawing, but um, as you can see, it's not really going that well, so. Moving on, let's bring it back over to Chase Oliveira with the announcements. Thanks, Doran. Now, we don't really have many announcements for next week since there's no school, but we always have something. Our school newspaper, The Daily Hell, wants to hear from you. Fill out a form and get your own words in print. Don't forget, you can always play games with your peers at the Gamers Club, even on break. Join our school Discord server and ask them about gaming nights. The California Scholarship Federation is coming to our school, and that's really cool because if you join, you can get amazing educational benefits. Alright, well, back to you, Tori. Thanks, Chase. It looks like we got a lot of things planned. Sadly, however, that just about wraps up this week's episode. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at GMCastaic. Here you'll be able to watch all of our exclusive content. You can also watch replays of our shows on our YouTube channel. Have a good weekend, Coyotes, and we will see you after the Thanksgiving break. Bye!